Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a project share for Scrap Diva Designs. This is part of the August release. Um, so I just want to share with you a couple things that I've been working on. <clears throat> um, here is all of Erica's information. This is her website. And then there's all the other socials here on the back. I will list um, my discount code for you down below if you decide to use that. Um, I will also link the shop and the dice. And if you have any questions, um, just let me know. So first off, I used um, this die set right here, which is called the Triple Star Bow, and there's two different sizes with the layering pieces. So I really love this. They make some really cute bows. So these are some that I have made. I even stitched and everything. <laughs> So I have them layered up. This, these ones um, I decided to make. I cut the um, little tail in half and then I, you know, angled them down rather than just having them straight out. So there's a couple there. The um, paper I'm using is um, Luna from Frank Garcia. I don't have very much of it, but I love it. So I decided to make some bows out of it. Aren't those beautiful? So, must have. I love the lacy look, but it's also got the stars, which can be used anytime, but super great for, you know, um, Halloween and, and um, 4th of July. But, I mean, stars it can be anytime, of course. So, love those. So, that's the bows that I made with that die. So, you're going to want to have that one in your stash. It is super nice, especially since you get two sizes. Oh, and then this size that I used is the small size. Okay, I made a couple other, I'm not sure where did I put them. Let me see, hang on. I made a couple other of the big ones um, that I shared before, I think on. So let me show you the difference. So this is the large one and this is the small one. So you can see the difference in the two. Okay. So that is a must have. <laughs> Who could have too many bows though, right? So, so that's that. And then next up, I use this die set, which is the 3D Barn gift box. Super cute set. I love it. Um, I actually did a video yesterday, a tutorial of it. <laughs> I didn't post it because it turned out not too good. <laughs> so um, hopefully um, I will be able to do another one and put that up there for you guys. See if you um, are needing help with it. But um, I went ahead and just <laughs> didn't post it. But let me show you what I did make. Um, let me um, also show you the pieces that you need to make this i mean there's quite a few pieces so it's always kind of intimidating when there's that many pieces but basically for the box to make the actual structure all you need is this 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 and this so this is the top the lid these little handles come together there's two of these and you open and then you can um you know uh, tie it together, clip it together, whatever you want. This is the side pieces. Go to the side of the barn, like this. Okay. This is the front and back, so you need two of these also. Two of these. Okay. And then this is the bottom, so you only need one of these. Okay. All the rest of these pieces that you see here are the layering. So, and you can tell because she puts um, stitching, usually almost always on all the layering pieces have stitching. So the stitch, the layering pieces for all these sides, okay? And then you got your barn door, and and so you have these two go together. So you can, you know, do the two different colors. You can make a, a shaker also if you wanted to. This is the window, so these two are together as one die. 
So you got both the pieces there together as one die. And then these are the um, layering pieces for the roof. I didn't use that on mine. I'll show you what I did here in just a second. But anyway, that's all that it takes. So, I know sometimes I see die sets and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this and how, how do I put it together? <laughs> so, just wanted to share with you that, you know, it's super easy to put together. Okay, so let me put this aside and show you the one that I made. So, again, I'm using um, Luna, a little bit of Twilight. I don't have, like I say, very much of any of it, so I'm kind of just combining what looks good together. So here's my barn. I made it a spooky barn. I didn't decorate the sides. I put a window on the back, and I got the door in the front, and then I just used a bunch of ephemera and stuff to layer it up. I cut my base out of black, so... Um, all those base pieces that I showed you that you need to create the box, that's the black pieces. Okay, and then all the rest, all these pink, it's all the layering pieces. Okay, this is the roof. Now, I showed you this, so you cut two of these. I didn't use the layering pieces right here. I decided to try and use this corrugated, this is black glitter corrugated paper that I have and I thought that would be really cute so that's what I cut mine I just cut my two um this piece I cut two of these out of the black okay and then I just used I just made a little clip I had these cute little pink they're kind of like a plastic clip this clothespin and then I just decorated it with some bows and little resin pieces and stuff that I got off Timu so that's what I, that's what my closure is Okay, you could tie it or whatever. And then it opens up and it's quite a good size. You could fit quite a bit in there, okay? I did um, tack mine down on um, these lower, these two lower um, tabs. Um, if I had them, it would have opened up farther, but I was having a hard time getting it lined up without tacking those two down. So that's how I put mine together. and. Like I say, you can fit a lot in there. This measures um, about four inches across. And then from the top of the handle to the bottom is about six inches. So that's quite a good size. And then it's, let's see, how deep is it? It's about, yeah, it's about four deep also. Okay. Super cute, super um, handy to... Um, Pack some things in whatever season you use it for. But so cute. Love it. So those are my two um, project shares that I've been working on. I got more to come. So um, be sure and come back and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, everything will be linked below. And be sure you give me a follow and like this video. And, and um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.